Hey guys, it's Rachel from Created by Monsters. Um, I wanted to do a quick update. I don't know how quick it will be because I'm kind of doing a reintroduction. Um, I've been away for a while when it comes to my YouTube channel and the internet and whatever. Um, it's just because of work and, and whatnot. But I decided that I wanted to kind of do a quick reintroduction um, and kind of my plans slash like ideas, I guess. Um, but yeah, so one thing that has been happening lately is like I've been really inspired to like rethink what my dolls, like who they are, um, cause like they're kind of just dolls right now to an extent, like there's no character to them. Um, so I kind of like looked over it and like thought about what I was doing. <laughs> Um, so, I wanted to share with what I came up with, like, kind of thought about, um, and like what I'm planning on doing. Uh, so yeah. Um, so right here is not all of my dolls. Um, my spirit dolls are sitting on the corner naked because I'm trying to find clothes for them right now. Um, same with uh, some of my little fees. So I have like a handful of the group here. Um, quick update, I did uh, get a lot more dolls since the last time. So I have probably have about 20, 20, I think under 25, and then a couple that are on the way. Um, I do have a little fee on the way, and I do have my Big Dipper. Um, he's being blushed, so I should get him back soon. Oh, and my Feeple 60 more one I got. She's being face-upped. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like, not everyone's home. Um, but, I mean, this is a good handful of the crew. Oh, and I have another, um, centaur on the way, too. The little tar, tiny tar. Um, but I have one of them home already. Um, but yeah, so here's kind of what's going on. Um, and how, like, came up with what I did. Um, so I, I've been really inspired by people kind of, like, really into their, like, stories and how they all, like, correlate and stuff, and I had to think, like, do all of my dolls live in the same universe, in the same planet, like, do they all know each other, or do they just, like, happy little separate families? Um, but yeah, so here's a couple that I kind of came up with, um, along the way. Um, so I think the most, I guess, developed, which isn't all that developed, is probably my centaur family. Um, and then, like, they're not all centaur, they're kind of, like, hoofed unicorn people, I don't know. Um, so, like, Veda and Aiden are a couple I can show you. So, you may have seen her painted. I don't recall showing you guys, um, but she's been painted, um, and she's really well and beautiful, um, but she's my white-skinned centaur, um, she's on a mint zoom body, Ooh. so there's her butt, um, but yeah, she's one of my girl dolls, if I could call it that, um, and then you guys have seen Aiden. Um, he is a little princeling. Um, he did get a new face up and he got new body washing on his hooves. Um, they're like a million times prettier now. And he's got like the cutest little prince face. It's kind of hard to see. But um, so these two are royalty. Um, princess and prince, um, now kind of king and queen, but to an extent. Um, and they had two kids, um, they don't really have names yet, I'm still kind of thinking about it. Um, but I got my little Tiltil, um, um, pink centaur, and then, um, there will be a zebra tar, um, Heidi, soon. Probably in the next month or so, if I can finish paying her off. 
Um, but she's super cute. She's in real brown skin. Um, she's one of my newest dolls. Um, so, like, their, their whole story is, like, I guess Romeo and Juliet kind of thing, where centaurs and then, like, um, bipad, like, two-legged hooved animals, um, are separate, but he really loved her and she really loved him, so they're a family. Um, I don't really know much about the story yet, but that's that. Um, Stacy in the back there got new legs he has he is really big um the zoom chrome wolf legs which need to be painted so that's what my plans to do is get those painted um he has his um hands um, his animal hand somewhere. I just haven't gotten him painted or on him. Um, and then I have him. He's got a tail. Um, but he is my wolf demon. Um, he's a, I don't want to say a god, but, like, he's in charge of the demon world. Um, you can't even see him. He's so big. But he has two families. Um, one where he has two kids, and then one where he has one kid. So, his story is that he was with one person and fell in love with her. Um, and eventually lost his memory after having these kids. Um, but I don't know how yet. And is tricked into being with a witch who is, um, Amelia back there, this girl, hey, up here, um, she's my people, 60, um, but Hannah, who is, um, my Merwin, who's not here yet, I'm still getting face-ups, um, she's got two kids, um, similar to the movie Wolf Children, um, Hannah and her two kids, um, Yuki and Ami, like, that's another thing, like, all of my dolls have, like, some kind of, like, Oh hey, here's the doll I really want in doll form, or a character I want in doll form, but like, I really like the way they look, so I kind of go off of that and then use my own imagination for the, for the rest. Um, so that's that. So she, she tricks him into being with him for a while, and then um, in order to have a little girl who's not over here, um, and she is part demon and part witch human um and that was the only reason why she wanted a daughter that was or a a child that was half demon to help raise her or whatever i don't know yet <laughs> so she's very conniving um but she's really pretty i really love her um but yeah so that's kind of their story. So there's three kids in total, Stacy and then um, the two girls. But like, they don't know each other whatsoever. And like, Hana and her family don't know what happened to their dad or husband or whatever. Um, so that's that. And then I have my mini fees and my Aquarius doll down here looking super cute. Um, the one in the red sweater is um, Micah or my Caboose doll. Um, he'll eventually have a Halo outfit but that's just more for Halloween. Um, but I'm not really sure on his story yet. Um, he looks really preppy right now, but he's supposed to be some punk kid. Um, Mia on the front is my, um, Mio tan skin fairyland moe cuteness. Um, she is supposed to be a nomad, so she's not wearing her clothes. <laughs> that right now, she's kind of just wearing, um, her boyfriend's stuff, who is the one behind her in the sweater, um, striped sweater, 
um, Milo, who is my Lucifer doll. He is um, based off of a character from Devil the Part-Timer, um, but again, more for Halloween purposes. Um, and he meets uh, Mia in the city um, at one point, but I don't know how they meet yet. And then there's Lakota, my Aquarius doll, who's just kind of hanging out in the back. She's just really cute. Um, she kind of reminds me of Haley Williams from Paramore, but whatever. It's the hair, I think. <laughs> um, so she's she's just kind of hanging out. I don't really know anything yet about her. Um, same with my my full set, um, Pong Pong, and my little dragon um, sitting back there. <laughs> with the umbrella. Um, these are just more of my new dolls I wanted to share with you guys because I haven't done any videos. But yeah. Um, so this is what I have so far. Oh, um, I will be doing later this week a update video on something I've been working on recently. Um, I got a dollhouse. Not just any dollhouse, it's like huge. Um, like crazy huge. It's seven feet tall, has six rooms, um, it's about a foot deep, so it's kind of like a bookshelf, but it's, it's a dollhouse, trust me. It's quite, quite the amazing thing. Um, sitting in my living room, because I don't know where else to put it, other than there. Um, but I'll do a video on that, on how far I am, and you guys can see it. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblingness, um, about my dolls. So, thank you, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!